Maps. I doubt that the map has been updated, but we'll probably go to the the headquarters of that secret brotherhood. Talk with the doorman. Of course. Yeah, oh, that yes. looks like a good place to have a brotherhood. Yeah. The conference center. Wait, no, that looks nothing like a conference center. I was looking at the building behind it. Yeah. Okay. Well, the building in the foreground is not so great, but... HA! <laughs> Good evening, sir. Stop. Are you expected? In the name of Plot. Uh... Let's go with the first one. Dumoulin. First one. Oh, wait, yeah, because we don't know his name My yet. Name is yeah. I've come to see the master of the house. Could you introduce me, please? Sorry, sir. My master cannot see you. He's British. He did it. Mm. Um. Try the first one. Yeah, because the other two mentioned yes. his name. Right. Are you in charge here? Do you mind, as a pure formality, if I ask you one or two questions? Is this the lodge of the Brotherhood of the Supreme Order of the Rosy Cross? Sorry, sir. I cannot answer your question. That, that uh, rosy cross on your chest gives it a pretty big <laughs> giveaway. Yeah, I'll go with that one. As a doorman, you're in a position to know all the members of the club. K and GDA are both members, are they not? All information about our members is confidential. Oh my god. I am sorry. You're not sorry, you English American twerp. Uh, first one. I apologize. Honorable members are naturally not under any suspicion. In fact, I'm seeking information about a young woman, Grace Eaton. Or maybe you've seen her brother, Paul Eaton. A big, strong fellow. <laughs> They've been here. Sir is insistent. It would, however, be preferable if you withdrew. Um. Oh my God, this you guy. Put that one. That one. That one. Yeah. Mr. Dumoulin, this guy's relentless. Your position and the necessity of discretion. However, Mr. Dauphin and Gracie Eaton saw each other more often than they let on. They even had a favorite restaurant they went to. Can you give me the name? No, sir. It would be preferable if you ask Mr. Ah, Dauphin. Ah, you. Yes. Mr. Dumoulin, time's <laughs> the essence. Didn't even need to look at the other. The integrity of your brotherhood is at stake. Must find the Eaton's before they're discovered. It is a famous restaurant, Chez Alexandre, in the eighth district. Thank you. Is there a menace, do you? Outstanding. A right. menace. Even if I really wanted to, I am not allowed to divulge any information. Allowed? He <laughs> slipped into Canadian for a second there. But... All right. Hulo is implicated in this affair. What? But how? Uh, they've no. gone back oh, to the yeah. attic. He's a fence, is he not? <laughs> I've brought you a little snack. Ha! <laughs> Thank you. You also have this lady. We'll help ourselves. Okay, where was I? Oh, uh, yes, the restaurant. Ah, <laughs> uh, bonjour. Oh my goodness, this we guy looks. Welcome to Chez Alexandre. Do you have a reservation? No. No. <laughs> no. First one. They reserved, uh, no, they reserved a table under the Dalpan. Table in the yes. Let's try the middle one. Uh, left. Left one. Oh, come on. By which I meant the first one, but sure. Oh, right. A certain... You should have said so. Oh, no. Of course I remember them. Yeah, I mean that one. That one. Yeah. In the meal, arguing no stop. In the end, the men turned up and they all left in a car. But you're mistaken about the name. It was Ooh. Right. Oh, oh my goodness. Of that, I'm sure. 
Are they the same people? Oh, yeah, uh, of course. I don't know. Well, if that's all you have, the whites will have to do. <laughs> do you know where I can find them? I hope they're not too far away. This is becoming quite urgent. Are you sure these are the Americans you're looking for? You know, Paris is crawling with Americans. Crawling? If it's you're definitely not French. This particular couple, put the bill onto an account at the Hotel Orfei. Ah, that's where the murder happened. Oh, respectable for them. I seem to remember that the lady and we'll be seen fleeing from the scene when the murder happens. Yes. That's what's gonna happen. Experiences can be misleading, you know? Like the gentleman who joined them. Well dressed, the beautiful car, very, very high class. But he could have been a hoodlum too, for all I know. <laughs> ah, it's hard to know who you can trust, eh? Um Have we said everything we can say to him? I guess so. We go to the, We've gotta go to the UFA, yeah. Oh my god, so many locations. Oh, oh can we talk to this chap? Fucking hell. Here we go. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Welcome to the hotel. Still of reading that newspaper. Yeah. Of course he is. Wait, I've come to see the whites. Which room might I find them in? He would not, not give out such yeah, information. He won't tell you that. Without the prior agreement of our clients. No. <laughs> uh, first one. Yeah, because he's an idiot. Well, no, he just likes money, I think. Maybe he would like a bottle of wine. Okay, um, threats? Uh, no, no, that one. I'll give you the goods on the whites. And you'll tell me if this date at Dior Fay. Deal? I have no interest in prying into the whites' lives. Hotel Orphe's guests have a right to privacy, sir. Ah, uh, right. <sighs> I had you going there for a minute. The whites really are guests at your hotel. Why? I never... <laughs> I... I strongly advise you to leave this establishment... You just I got luigi <laughs> Hey, and, um... <laughs> Why was that my only option? <laughs> That's definitely not going to happen. That is enough. I refuse to talk to you any further. Of course. You don't want to talk to anyone. You're not the first guard dog I have encountered, but you're certainly the toughest. <laughs> How would you think about it? Do not worry, though. I'll be back soon. It is better that way, sir. Well, then, what do I do now? <laughs> like this. Oh, don't stab him. Now what? If you want any leads, <laughs> wait for me at the Nazi. I will give you something. <laughs> that was strangely erotic. Okay. The Nantis. Whatever that is. Where is the Nantis? I think it might be the thing that's in the actual uh, restaurant. Oh. That's yeah, it's the Nantis Cafe. That's the one. Let's talk to the barkeep so that we can make sure he gives a good description to McPherson in the future. A bottle, please. Bottle. A bottle, please. A bottle of red. Oh, he makes us pay. All right, thanks and good day. You're welcome, sir. Sorry, it's past money, it no longer exists. Mm. Where is he? Uh, I'm... Come on, come over here. No, look, look around. No, it's not. What are you doing? Go back in there. <laughs> right. When you're in there, turn around and s very slowly, and go towards the tables. I think I, we could go over. Sit down. Yeah. Ah, because we were stood by the window. Yes. Do you remember? That's why we were held as a suspect. What do you want with the wife? You're too good at this. You look like someone who might be able to slip me some info. I just pay attention. <laughs> see, how much will you pay? One hundred and forty-five francs. <laughs> Uh, first one. Do not worry, it's my client who pays. Ah, someone who gets things quickly. We're going to get along just fine. Now, what do you want to know? First one. The white. Do you know? <laughs> well, there are a couple. 